We're going to talk cars in just a moment, but right now, we're going to talk the weather. We have an afternoon alert. This is an alert afternoon, if you will. Doesn't mean there's anything severe coming up as we go to max one. It simply means there's going to be a few spotty showers associated with a cold front that's going to move through the area. And that window of opportunity we're giving is between three and nine. Temperatures this afternoon, it is warming up already. We're 90 degrees in the city, mid upper 80s out in the viewing area. And let me show you what's what's happening. There's our cold front. It is a fairly weak cold front, not a lot of moisture with it. It's moisture starved. But as it gets closer, I think we're going to kick off a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Nothing severe, though. But the alert is simply to let you know, be prepared, because some of the games, not all of them, but some of the games tonight could, could get wet. We'll see how it all works out. Now, Futurecast goes to motion here. And uh, with this first stop on Futurecast, we're up to late afternoon. You see things begin to pop in the late afternoon. Then as we move forward in the metro area here, we're looking at uh, that line kind of there's it's that's the cold front moving through. We have some spotty showers and thunderstorms. Most of it's south of the river, though, and that's uh, we're getting into the evening hours now. And as we go forward again with it, uh, we go into the late evening hours and you see moves down through southern and central Kentucky. Then it's out of the area. Cooler, drier air is moving in and we are going to set the stage for one really, really wonderful weekend. Here is the uh, weather alert or the weather impact alert day there you see a half day afternoon hours but look at the weekend is that nice or not we're going down to the mid 50s tonight tomorrow 75 and basically mid 70 sunday then we start to warm it up in the coming week so the hot weather is not finished yet